The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock. Hey, uh, Dennis and Vernon's, Vernon Hills, what's going on, man? Calling on in to ask if you guys are getting all your candy ready for Halloween. Mm, yeah, why have... are you asking that? I'm just, you know, curious. I, I, I'm getting, there's a part of me that's like getting a little sick of the whole separating out your candy, making sure that every, all these allergies are like good to go and that you can, you don't have to, you know, I don't think you have to separate out your peanut butter candies or your, you know, your peanut candies. Sherman will beg to differ. Well, yeah, I, I have a child that has a peanut allergy. I mean, it's the nice thing to do because then they don't run the risk of grabbing in there. Because some kids, my son, I'm, he's lucky that he doesn't have it uh, as bad. But, like, for instance, my niece, if she even touches a package that was in a peanut place, like a factory that had peanuts a in package? it. package? Like, actually a package. Even the package, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even the package, she can have a, a breakout. So we're always ready. We always have one of those EpiPens, which, by the way, is ridiculous on how much they cost. It's the total scale. Let me ask you a question. How about this? Uh, what if you go to a neighborhood and you go to someone's house like mine last year and I didn't think about that at all. I put out a bowl. What do you do when people who just don't separate candy? Well, I, like yeah, a, as a parent. No, listen, because he's not as bad as some other people that can't even touch it. It's not as big of a deal, but there's no way he could eat it. If he eats it, it would close off his airway. And he knows which candy's not No, he doesn't. So I separate it. Were you, were you, were you breastfed? I what think a, that has a key to it, right? Oh, what, what, what are you, now you just, what are you, Wikipedia freak? You read something no, and you believe that's it? that's a thing. That's a, you like, you, you, like, if you're breastfed when you're younger, you have less allergies. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know, I Dr. Like, Dennis. Are you wrong? <laughs> 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 That's some WebMD stuff right there. Yeah, no kidding. Beside the point, I think separating out your candy is annoying, and I don't know if I'm going to do it this year. Oh, That's sorry, all sorry, sorry Uh-oh. to sorry to have to oh, have Sherman you wants to reach through the phone and stab you. No, I don't want to stab you, but you know, since you're on the stabbing <laughs> conversation, why don't you just stab your neighbors? Because that's basically what that you're running into here. You're murdering people, possibly because you didn't separate something. Separate. That's so annoying. It's... Why can't we just be homogenous? Why can't we homogenize our society and our Okay. Candy? Hey, Dr. Dennis, come up with a cure then for peanut allergies, and we won't have to separate anything. Mm-hmm. I'll call you back in two years with a cure for peanut allergies. You got it. You'll be the first to know. Okay. Right. Now we... tell each other you love each other. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love you. It's like you, you think that we chose that. What do you think? If I had the Carfax on my kid, I would have said, you know what? No. No, we don't want that. We don't want that problem. I didn't, we didn't choose that. How lazy can you be? Just separate them. I just went on medicalanswers.com, and there's everything there. Oh, yeah. That means you're going to no, die. No. You go on that website. Yeah, don't look at that. You, ta- that. you sneeze. You look on that website. Well, I guess I got t- stage four. Don't ever go to those sites. Don't do it. It's 97. Freak yourself out. 97. 1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's Classic Rock. Sherman and Tingle in the morning. I'm surprised that you guys escaped with both of your kids, Jill and Tingle, escaped with no peanut allergies. How is that even possible? It seems like every kid, including mine, have peanut allergies now. Yeah, I feel really lucky that we don't because my son has friends that have the peanut allergy, and I'm always real worried when they're at my house. Well, what about when you you have a kid who has a a party and, you know, a poor kid who has a peanut allergy that can't, you know, have their cake or their gluten allergies or whatever, and they have have everything separate? You feel bad for them. Yeah, I know. He had to be at the peanut. A table, a Stephen Crown Point. See, he was—he's calling up because of that guy before. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I have to—I have to like separate my candy now." I'm like, "Hey, sorry. It's not—we didn't choose for the kids to have a peanut allergy." Yeah. Exactly. I mean, who was that bozo? He must not have kids. You know what I mean? So I completely agree. I mean, you have to separate your candy. You know, whether they have a food allergy or not, just with the way this world is and all these morons out there, you know, doing stuff to kids, you don't know what they're going to lace his candy with. You know, I mean, it, it's hard telling nowadays. He must not have kids, or if he does, he doesn't care about I agree. Them. Like, that's just lazy. It's not that hard to do. Yeah. And I think Suzanne, Suzanne and Plano, I think uh, we just saved your yard from being a triage. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? What happened, well, Suzanne? Okay, so here's my thought. When I buy Halloween candy, I know I'm going to get maybe five or ten people. And so I buy candy knowing that I'm going to have leftovers. So I buy what I want which is Snickers, Reese's, and Butterfingers, all that have nuts in them. Oh, so yeah. I'm thinking, well, okay, fine. I don't want to separate it. I'm not going to go buy an hour laters and lemon heads and have it stuck at my house for the next month. So why not just put up a sign, um, you know, that says P 
peanut candy only here or something like that. So you don't have to worry about it. That's right. Or do hell I do. with all allergic kids don't bother coming. Yeah, hell with all of you <laughs> right, kids that mean... suffer. How now uh, listen, there's a better way to do that. <laughs> don't put up a sign just when you get the candy. Jesus. And you see all those candies like the Reese's and all that, just eat them yourself. Right. There you go. Or you know, parents parents could go through their candy and we separate do, it for Suzanne, their Suzanne, we do happens, do yeah. that. We do do that. We're just... You know, they're... And are you guys going to delay Halloween because it's going to be cold out? No. No, we're not doing Listen, that. It's just, it's a pain in the butt when our kids drop dead. We don't, I know. We don't want that to happen, Suzanne, okay? That's, they're just and trying to protect our kids. something you like that's peanut-free. Hershey's is peanut-free. Tootsie Pops are peanut-free. I buy that stuff because I like that stuff. Yeah, and I don't want to have to buy another EpiPen. Right. Things are like five hundred dollars a pop. Right, such a scam yeah, going you, on. You're a male dancer on the weekends. You can afford it. Yes, that's exactly what I am. <laughs> that's his side hustle. The Sherman and Tingle Show mornings on ninety-seven one FM. The Drive, Chicago's classic rock.